what's up YouTube it is Wednesday and I just finished filming a makeup tutorial for this here makeup look today I have a lot going on I'm on my way in just a minute to a hair appointment to talk to my hairstylist about changing up my hair a little bit so more about that soon but right now I'm going to show you the Bath and Body Works haul and I'm also gonna show you hi you want to be on YouTube Hi YouTube, I have a mustache and I'm very cute, 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 cute. Nat, do you want to be in the video too? She wants it. Say hello to YouTube. I have the cutest cats in the world, I honestly do. Look how cute, guys, look how cute her fur is too. Look at that, look at how cute. She's just a baby. I love you. All right, we're doing a Bath and Body Works haul. Why? Because girls like smelly stuff. I like smelly stuff. I love smelly stuff. Mmm. So the first thing I'll show you is this body mist in this scent. Sensual Amber. I don't even know if you can see that. So I think Sensual Amber is something that they actually discontinued. But on their website you can buy some stuff that's been discontinued. And this is literally, ugh. It's like so basic of me. It smells like amber and vanilla, which is like the most basic smell ever. But... I love it so much. It just smells so good. Like, so I got a mist and I also got a body lotion in that. I don't think I meant to buy this. I think I meant, because usually if I buy like a lotion from them, it's in this kind of lotion. So I think I meant to buy like the body wash, but that's okay. This smells so good, I will use it. Another scent that I got that's extremely similar to the Sensual Amber and I think is also possibly like discontinued is the Cashmere Glow scent, which, oh, it smells so good. Anything that's like amber, or vanilla. I just love those scents. Like, I know it's so lame and basic of me to love those scents, but I just do. And that's what these smell like. So if you ever want to know what Lynette smells like, it's either amber or vanilla, or it's Victoria's Secret Perfume Very Sexy, which is another scent of mine that I love. But they were holding some kind of sale where you could get these hand soaps for $3 each. I feel like they're always having a sale like that, but Obviously, I got Christmas ones. I don't know what these smell like because I didn't I just bought online based on what I thought they would smell like But I got this one which is vanilla bean Noel, which is like probably just vanilla But they just put Noel in there to make it like Christmassy and what winter candy apple Which is probably just an apple-y sweet scent that is Christmassy because they put an ornament on the bottle and I am nothing if not susceptible to holiday marketing. The last one I think I got of those is a winter gentle foaming hand soap with shea extract. So I don't know what any of these smell like. I should probably be smelling them for this footage, right? Like what's the point in showing you if I don't tell you how it smells? That smells like evergreen trees. I figured I would put this in like my kitchen, which is like I would like an evergreen scent to wash my hands with in the kitchen because I feel like it would be like really strong and take out the smell of like onion or garlic that might be on my hands. This winter candy apple smells like, mmm, I don't know, it is kind of wintry. It's like apple mixed with evergreen kind of, but not. All right, and vanilla bean Noel smells like, ugh, sh like sugar cookies. Ooh, that's really, really sweet. It smells straight up like vanilla sugar cookies. And I did get one other soap. It's an exfoliating hand soap because I love exfoliating hand soaps. And I had never tried like this particular product from Bath & Body Works. So this is a frosted cranberry with tea tree oil. So I don't know what that is gonna be like. It smells like, it smells like cranberry mixed with tea tree oil. <laughs> I'm so good at describing things, aren't I? All right, one thing that I did want to show you because I super love this product and I've bought it several times before is this 60 second hand scrub by their like true blue line. It's a sugar hand scrub and it first of all leaves your hands super duper soft, but also I am like fanatical about having my hands feel clean. I can't have food on them or like sticky stuff. This is like the best hand scrub that like just gets rid of all the junk off your hands. I always use this after I put my makeup on because I feel like I always have tons of makeup and products on my hands. So I love this stuff. You should get some of this for your bathroom because it's literally, oh, it's so amazing. And last but not least, I couldn't order from Bath & Body Works without getting at least one other giant candles. Let's see, did I get something new or did I get something I know I love? Oh, I got something that I know I love. I've loved this scent for years. This is Leaves by Bath & Body Works. And so I guess it's technically like, a fall scent, but oh, it smells wintry. It's spiced berries, red delicious apple, golden nectar. I don't think it smells like any of that. I think it smells really cinnamony and oh, 
just amazing. So love this candle, even for winter. It's like totally not just a fall scent to me. That was my Bath Body Works haul. Now I'm gonna go get ready to go to my hair appointment because after that, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop to work a little bit and then I'm going to church because I sing on the praise team tonight and that's my day. So I'm at my hair stylist salon, which is aesthetic hair company in Ferndale, Michigan. Um, and so the plan is I'm actually going to be getting my like permanent hair extensions out. If you guys are not familiar with this, I have, or if you didn't know, I should say, I have bonded hair extensions. These, this is, this, none of it's real. Um, the hair extensions I have is called Hair Dreams and I have been loving them. I've had them for the last year and a half. Before that, I had tape ins briefly and I did not like the ones that I had an experience with. Before that, I've been wearing clip in extensions for the better part of like, since 2012 essentially. And so I think I'm gonna go back to clip in extensions because honestly, I do my hair, like really do it like one or two days a week right now. And most of the time I'm just working at home or I'm at the gym and like my hair is not done or cute or anything. So it feels kind of pointless to have like super long, beautiful, expensive extensions when I'm like not even really doing my hair. Like I was doing my hair a lot when I was in school and for like the first part of the summer. And then now I just, I just don't do it very much cause I'm just at home. And I'm like trying to challenge myself to go back to being okay with like my natural hair, which just doesn't seem to grow much further than here because I keep insisting on having blonde in it and I think that just stops it from growing long because it just breaks off. But it's just so thin. Like that's what I've always hated is my hair is so thin. And I can be the first to admit that having long, thick hair like this is definitely like a security blanket for me. It's like a self-esteem security blanket for as long as I can remember. I've always been insecure about my hair and felt like most of what makes me like attractive is my hair. I don't know why I feel like that. I feel like that's probably not the actual truth. And my husband has said a thousand times that he could care less what my hair looks like. As long as it's past like chin length, he has no other opinion. For me personally, I just see, feel dramatically different about myself and my self-esteem is so much better when I have long like beautiful mermaid hair like I've just always felt like like that and when I used to have clip-ins and I would take my hair extensions out at night or I'd be like just going around the house without my hair extensions I felt so naked and I felt almost like a boy like I would tell my husband that I felt like unfeminine because my hair was so thin and wispy and I just hated it so that's when I started getting into like permanent hair extensions the bonded hair extensions the tape and hair extensions so that they were on my head all the time and I could like pretend that they were mine. I don't know. I don't know why I was so like fooled into thinking that like my hair was my beauty and my hair was what made me attractive. But um, I'm trying to challenge that by getting rid of the permanent hair extensions and going to back to clip-ins so that I kind of like, I don't rip the band-aid off altogether. Like I still have my clip-ins for when I want to look nice and like go out and like I'm out and about and stuff, but I can just take them out and deal with my normal hair when I'm just at home, like going to the gym and stuff like that. And I feel like that's gonna be like my transition to maybe into just wearing my natural hair. I know this is probably so dumb to some of you and you're like, why would this be an insecurity? Like of all the things, but it just is like, it's just always been an insecurity of mine. Um, way more for the most part than my body was ever an insecurity for me. And nowadays my body is not an insecurity for me 90% of the time, but my hair still is. Like the thought of not having my hair extensions is still a scary thought to me, but I'm challenging myself on this because I wanna learn to be comfortable, like I said, with like who I am and what I was born with as opposed to constantly needing to fix myself. And not to say that I'm against hair extensions, I'm totally not. Like if we had endless piles of money, I'd probably probably keep getting them. And I'm not against people who do things like tattoos or boob jobs or anything like that. Those are great. I have nothing against those. I will probably in my future at some point get some sort of Botox or tummy tucks or whatever as life goes on. I have no problem with those things and I don't think you're a terrible person for wanting them. This is just something that I have chosen to challenge myself with because I was so sick of feeling like, like my beauty was just in my hair, you know? So yeah, now that I've said all of that, I'm gonna go talk to my hairstylist now. He's gonna be so sad that I'm getting rid of my hair extensions. He loves hair extensions too. <laughs> and we love taking me blonde, but also I love having like healthy hair. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I generally just end up doing what he tells me to do. Like I don't really have much of a say in my hair. It's pretty much whatever Alex says is best for me. And then I'm just like, so you guys want to see my outfit before I chicken out and don't show you because I'm literally in public about to show you my outfit. Okay. <laughs> Skirt's too tight. I'll tell you that right now. It's way too tight but it's cute, so I wore it.
You do what you gotta do when you don't have your Instagram husband with you to film your outfit. Anyway, I'm dressed nicely because I'm going to church. And did I lock my car? I'm going to Panera because I have like an hour and a half until I have to actually be at service. And my hair place and church are really close to each other so I didn't want to go back home. So I'm going to Panera, I'm gonna get a coffee, I'm gonna get some work done. And then I'm going to church. Fun vlog today. <laughs> Super fun. Ayy. So in case it wasn't clear, because I feel like it might have not been clear, um, I wasn't changing my hair today. We're, today was just like the consultation of what we're going to do, but we picked out my next hair. Or like, I'm kind of between two. I can't decide if I want to go like darker, like be straight up like brown with some like lighter brown bits at the end, or if I want to still have a little bit of blonde. Blonde is my comfort zone, for sure. I love blonde, but... We'll see, I feel like it's time to change it up. And with extensions, it's so easy to just like change your mind. Like if I have the darker brown extensions for a while and then I'm like, I want blonde back, then I can just go buy blonde extensions. And it will usually blend into my hair pretty well. So yeah, I hope you can hear me too. I feel like you may not be able to hear me because I'm trying to not scream because I'm in public. So I'm trying to act like all the other adults in here, but. I'm gonna go back to working on my client plans, which by the way, I'm always taking new clients. So if you're looking for help with your fitness and weight loss goals, holla at your girl, because I can help you. Okay, so since this vlog has already been super random, I'm just gonna end it in a really random way. With my skincare routine as of right now. So for a very long time, like most of my life, I have not really had a skincare routine because I was one of those people who growing up, I just didn't really have problem skin. I didn't have acne. I didn't really have any issues for the most part. I think I always kind of had some like texture or pinkness on my cheeks, but like I didn't really care. Um, it wasn't until I was an adult that the texture and like the pinkness, like the sensitivity of my skin got really, really bad. And I started getting really dry skin. And so I think my new year's resolution for the year of 2016 was to start taking better care of my skin. So since then I've been on the hunt for products that work really, really well for me. And I've tried everything under the sun, but I've finally found like the system that I really like right now. I'm gonna share it with you. So I should say for starters, I use these Neutrogena makeup wipes here to remove all of my makeup or just my face makeup. If you guys saw my makeup tutorial video or two back, then you know I don't always remove my eye makeup. Sometimes I'll just wipe my face makeup off and leave my eye makeup for a day or two because I am disgusting and my eye makeup just lasts so I don't always take it off. But yeah, I've tried a lot of makeup removing wipes and a lot of them seem to sting my face or cause my skin to react because I have sensitive skin. These Neutrogena ones seem to work really, really well. They don't sting, they don't leave like a really greasy residue. They actually take off all of my makeup, even like the waterproof stuff, so I love these. So when it comes to like facial cleansers and moisturizers, this brand, Osei, is my favorite brand ever. It started out with them sending me some stuff early in 2016 and I could not believe how much it made my like red flared up skin just calm down. Um, this is the ocean cleanser, but they originally sent me the cleansing milk and I think that's made for like sensitive skin. This still works pretty good. My skin isn't as sensitive as it used to be, so this works good for now. What I've actually been applying before my moisturizer after I wash my face is this True Skin Vitamin C Serum. This I just got from Amazon. It's a vitamin C 20% E and hyaluronic acid. I don't know. I've been working on getting some anti-aging stuff into my skincare. I think some of the Osei stuff is anti-aging, but I mean, I'm 26 y'all and I'm not getting any younger. And I also used to do tanning beds a little bit in high school and like even a couple years ago I did some tanning beds and I haven't always been the best about wearing sunscreen, so I've changed that now. I don't do tanning beds, I wear sunscreen, but apparently using this vitamin C stuff on like your face, your neck, and your decolletage can kind of help with like the aging of these areas because these are usually the first areas that show aging on a woman. So, I like this stuff. In addition to my skin being super sensitive, my skin is also super dry. And this, I don't think you can even read the label because it's, there's no product left, but this is an advanced protection cream by Osei. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, it could be Osei. And I usually apply this if 
it's winter time and my skin is super dry because this is like a crazy thick cream like if I apply this it has to be at night because it's so thick but normally my everyday moisturizer is this atmospheric protection cream is it atmospheric no it's atmosphere protection cream this is just a lightweight uh, moisturizer that doesn't seem to clog my pores or cause any acne because as an adult I do sometimes get acne a little bit not very much maybe like three zits a year but yeah I love this it's really really lightweight it looks great under my makeup um, I like these products because first of all they're vegan that's not necessarily important to me but I do think that that's cool and all of these products are like really naturally made with a lot of natural ingredients as far as I know yes 100% natural derived ingredients is what it says on here and they're cruelty free and gluten free for the people who like need that I just like how these work on my skin I've tried other things I've tried a lot of the popular stuff that like youtubers are using but this this brand this whole line just like works so well for me I don't exfoliate all the time but if I do exfoliate, I always do this Dr. Brandt's Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. I like this because the little granules of like sand or whatever that are in this are super duper small and fine. I don't like scrubs with like big chunks of sand or grains in them or whatever because it actually can cause like little tears on your face and it can irritate sensitive skin even worse. So this I like that, like I said, it's like really, really fine and like little pieces of whatever is in here. It's like, you know, like what's in a scrub. Like it's like sand but this is even finer than sand so this doesn't seem to irritate my sensitive skin and it just leaves my skin feeling super smooth because I feel like I get buildup of dry skin and like grossness right here and so I'll use this about once a week and that seems to just like smooth that back out and then I will apply the uh, super thick Osei advanced protection cream to kind of like re-moisturize that area with like a super intense moisturizer. So yes, that is my skincare routine. But remember too that when it comes to skincare, it's so like personal. Like I almost feel bad like telling people what I do for my skincare because I have no clue if what I use for me is gonna work for you. Like you may have the same exact skin type as me and yet these products still may not work for you because everyone's skin is just different. But I can definitely confidently say that this line of stuff, which they, this is not they did not ask me to talk about this. They haven't been in contact with me. I'm just talking about this because I love this brand so much. But I definitely can say that I think this brand would probably work for a lot of people just because it's so natural. It's not like extremely potent in terms of like having a major reaction on your face or anything. So yeah, that is going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. This is, this is too close. This is too close. That's my cats running around my house. This is the life I live.